Let's look at arrays and value types versus reference types. Hopefully we'll be brief here, but let's create an array. Let's briefly look at arrays with value types versus reference types. If you don't understand value types and reference types, I actually have a playlist on the topic you can brush up on, but I think in this video we'll, we'll cover the basics. I'm going to make an integer array. Call me ints. New int array, and I'll just type some random values here. Now we saw in a previous video how each of these integers is stored consecutively. I actually went out to RAM and showed that to you. So when we create this array, the array holds the integers as they really are. And int is short for int 32, meaning 32 bits per instance of an int, thus 4 bytes. So what I'm drawing here are 4 byte boundaries on in our array. And this one stores 1. We have 5, 4, and seven. So if I come down here, as we've seen in previous videos, I'll come way down here. I can right line me int sub two in the second item is this four. Remember we're zero based. We just saw that. So zero, one, two. If I right line me int sub two, let me see if we get a four. Okay, now let's do let's change this up to a reference type. I'm gonna come up here and say class me class. I'll say public int me field, and I'll end it there. I could make it a property, but I'll just keep it simple to an actual integer field. And let's make an array of these. All right, me class, me classes. I need a race syntax. Needed to declare it as an array. New me class sub. We'll just do three. Keep it simple. And what we have here is another array. But this array stores references. And recall that the default value for a reference is null. So each one of these will be referencing null. If I can draw an appropriate null for each slot here. Like so. If I come in here and say me classes sub 1. We'll do the middle element here. Hopefully I can spell me classes. Me classes dot sub 1 dot me field gets 5, and run this, we'll see the notorious null reference exception. In fact, one time I was logged into my bank and up popped on the browser a null reference exception. Uh, yeah, it made me real confident in my banking. Anyway, null reference exception because we said the object at me classes sub 1 dot me filled gets 5. Well, this cell inside of our array is not referencing an object, so I cannot assign me filled to 5. Let's Let's actually instantiate an object there. Uh, let's say me classes sub one gets new me class, and just use the compiler generated constructor there. Control F5, and now the null reference exception is gone. And of course, we get the print from up here. Let's take that out and actually print me classes me classes sub one dot me filled, and we'll see five. There now, if I change my class to a value type, and the way I do that is by using struct. Again, go watch the value types playlist if necessary. Go brush up on that. But now, instead of storing references, my array here stores actual me class objects. The same way that these primitives, these ints, these value types were stored directly in the array. Now we have an array of value types. That's what the struct does. It's interesting behavior for the struct, and anyway, you can get my whole opinion on all that, but it's still zero base, zero, one, two, but these are no longer references referencing null. They are the actual me class instances inside of the array. So let me demonstrate that to you. We have me classes sub one dot me field gets five. Me field is the only data member inside of me class. So this whole slot right here is four bytes wide just for me field. I said that's a five. The default value for an int is zero, and since this value type and I'm instantiating the array with new here, then that'll zero out the rest of these. So let's come in here. I'm actually going to comment out this line that saved our bacon with the reference type. Control F5. Things are still good because me classes sub one uh, defaulted to zero, but I can actually change that to a five as I have it drawn here in the array, and you see, oh, it's a 5. But we still didn't get a null reference exception. I didn't have to come in here. I can take this out. And I guess this is really the line that saved our bacon, is when we instantiated 
me class. I build that and run that. We still get five. This line right here does not cause a null reference exception. I no longer have to instantiate the object explicitly because these are value types. In fact, if you go watch the value type playlist, all you'll learn is that new me class simply zeroes out all the data. And when we instantiated the array in the first place, this value is already zero. So trying to do this new me class doesn't bias anything. Anyway, arrays of reference types versus value types is something to keep in the back of your head.